Violet getting real and hurting girls at the same time. Dude, dude. Today's dating is awful. It is. It is. It's so bad. And I try not to be like prissy. And I try not to be like snarky with the whole thing. Because I'm like, okay, let me think about this. It's just logic. Not like logically, but like ground to earth or down to earth kind of style. Dating now is a whole different beast. Like if it wasn't difficult back then, it's so much worse now. Like like your profile doesn't mean shit. Like you can literally be yourself and you still would get like this the bad end of the stick. And it's, it's really bad. And it's like, is dating even worth it? Like what is your intention to date? Like I could be flat out honest with my intention to date it's such a double-edged sword it's so bad it's so bad society does not know what the fuck they're doing we're all hurt we're all hurting and somehow dating either makes it worse or it could help but it's it's such a slippery slope there's not enough like just real individuals like real people or most people have this mask on when they're like dating or on dating profiles a dating profile is one thing but then like actually seeing the person irl and having that dictate what you do next it's a whole different thing but it's like you have to commit to like having that first date that first encounter and that's already hard enough that's already a task in itself it sucks i can make a whole podcast about this but i'm not gonna do that so but it's 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 supremely tough especially the younger people i swear to god it's like nobody was raised to be themselves atlantic you're speaking some facts you're speaking some facts right now (laughs) where are all the nice men you friend zone them Oh, God, vicious. I, I agree with you, but at the same time, that used to be me back in the day. I feel like this this needs to be talked about more. Oh, my God, this, this needs to be a thing. I need to talk about this a different time. I actually had made a shirt that said, I think it was like along the lines of just friends on me already. Back then, I was really hurting, like extremely hurting, and I didn't know better. I didn't know how to communicate my frustrations and what I wanted to come across. I used to, like, I guess, deem myself like, oh, I'm a nice guy, but at, that is, you, you have to be specific. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not being smexy at all. You have to be specific. You know what I mean? I almost said Pacific. You have to be specific. Sp- sp- specific (laughs) i'm a nice individual i'm a nice person because any dude can be a nice guy but they'll lure you in with bullshit and you know then it's then it's rough then it's hard you know what i'm talking about yeah you can be a nice guy how about be a nice person how about don't be a piece of shit you know what i'm saying be a nice individual to yourself first and foremost i'm gonna be honest i'm a date to marry person valid and fair none of this date for fun shit that's not cool if i'm dating someone they will be a person that i see myself with in my future i hate people who will date for fun because it's like hey i'm only dating you for the bed stuff like no get out of my face okay very valid very valid now i'm gonna give you an interesting take as i'm getting older right i did have that logic like i'm dating to marry but at the same time i've been with people that have opened my eyes to certain parameters and certain perspectives like there's there's this thing or like there's a plethora of rainbow of different perspectives and lifestyles i'm gonna give one for example solo polyamory now it sounds like it contradicts it doesn't so solo polyamory is a thing where you are oh my timer went off, but no, I'm still going to be smexian for this fucking thing. <laughs> but anyway, solo polyamory is a, it's an exercise and it's a, uh, uh-oh. Yoga lock cheered. X300. Love yourself. All day, every motherfucking day. Straight up. Yoga lock, thank you so much for the 300. You, you we have our talks IRL, yoga lock. The, yoga lock is an IRL friend of mine. And we have our talks whenever we hang out about stuff like this. So solo polyamory is one of those things where you, you don't date other people necessarily take like think of it this way you were with someone that you were in a monogamous uh committed relationship with but you soon find yourself you're doing literally everything together and you lose yourself of individuality let's say you're committed to your work too like you want to do like you want to further um expand or extend your uh career aspirations right but you don't want to like lose 
the relationship, right? Not in fear of that, but it's like, hey, I'm committed to you. It's like me not streaming because I'm with somebody. I love to stream. Streaming is my passion. And the person that I'm with is going to have to know that beforehand. Now, if they understand that, they're going to know that, oh, I take my job seriously, but I also love you, committed to you. And, you know, we're not going to be doing everything together because obviously, like, for example, I'm streaming right now. So, and this is like what is going to further enhance me as a person, just like whatever profession they do, it's going to enhance them as a person. So it's like you're in a relationship, but it's not like the traditional, you got to do everything together. Everything is in both of your names and all that kind of shit. Like, nah, dude, there, that's just one example. There's a whole plethora of stuff out there as far as like different types of relationships or different types of dynamics. If you're a monogamous person, by all means, do that. Do what is comfortable and natural for you. Now, I will say, being vulnerable for a second, monogamy does scare me. Not to say that I have the mind frame of, oh, I'm trying to be with people for the bed stuff. That's not my take as hell no. Like, I I can't be with strangers like that. But I understand why people have multiple partners, not for like solely for sexual reasons. They could be for emotional reasons. There could be for financial reasons too. There could be for sexual reasons or it could be for comfort reasons or whatever. But as long as everyone is safe, knowledgeable, communicative, and and everything is good it could work it's not talked about as much but i do understand the intent for polyamory and it could be like both people are polyamorous one person could be monogamous while the other person isn't you know it's whatever works for them for the people involved that's what matters this is very long i do apologize but i can i can talk about this a lot because my eyes were opened over the last several years of like you know what i can see how this can be beneficial to certain individuals this is not for everybody either but cater what goes and what works for you and don't let society or anyone else fuck up your good shit because the world is trying to fuck up good shit you know what i'm saying so oh, all right rant over i will always respect people who do polyamory because i know i'm not built for it you know it's not for everybody it's not for everybody it could only work if the people involved are willing to make it work and let's say they're open to it and it doesn't work out that's okay now you know you know what i'm saying like it's better to try and see versus like my thing is like don't judge other people for their preference you know what i'm saying when i was younger not knowledgeable obviously i would be like people in polyamory like oh that person must mean like they want to cheat or like just have you know whatever it's just like no some people actually let's say their main partner is not emotionally intelligent but someone else that someone else that the other person knows is emotionally communicative or intelligent the thing about polyamory is that you would like to have everyone involved knowledgeable of like whom you're with you know what i'm saying it's all about communication you got to talk about it. You got to be communicative and see what works and see what doesn't work. And and that way you have a better understanding versus like, oh, that's wrong. You, you, you're saying it's wrong because it doesn't work for you. You know, you're not that person. Wow, this is really long. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I always say you do. You do you as long as no one is getting hurt. Exactly. 1,000. Next podcast soon. I would totally engage in a polyamorous relationship only if everyone loves everybody equally. True true that would be like the best outcome you know it, it depends i respect people who will be poly just as long as they don't pressure me into it yeah absolutely you don't want to be pressured into it either if it's not for you let that be known let that be known your voice needs to be known for that i had a friend who was in a poly relationship after a bit they started to tell me that i should get into it but i did say no i'm not for that as our friendship went on he kept pushing and pushing and it would get a little worse and it made me more uncomfortable see no that's that's a dynamic and that's a friendship that's not like long for this world and you know like if they keep doing it and doing it they're crossing your boundaries that you've already set and that's not good at all you need to be yourself like establish some boundaries if it's not for you and if someone keeps pressuring you let that person go regardless if it hurts or not because they don't care about your boundaries they don't care about you they're not listening to you they don't respect you and it is what it is rant over absolute cap Damn, this text message literally spawned this entire thing. S-tier rant. 
again, I could talk about this a lot because I'm not saying I know everything because I do not but I'm willing to know more and understand more because like everyone's different. And I'm like, you know, what may not, what I thought probably wouldn't work for me might work for me or being knowledge of like, maybe I don't know what I want or where I'm supposed to be, but learning from someone else and getting their information or their perspective or their insight could unlock some things for me, which it has. So, you know, there you go. I'm done. I'm gonna, let me switch to my other microphone.